entertainment industry in Kenya has great potential, uh, but it's in its infancy. So it's very difficult for um, an aspiring artist, uh, musician, filmmaker, TV um, independent producer. It's difficult for them to, to, to make money. There's an abundance of talent in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and in nearly every African country. And the question is, how can we leverage the uh, improvements and enhancements that have been enabled by technology so that a nation can identify and mine and develop its cultural assets. It also becomes an opportunity to preserve our history, to preserve culture, collaborating with people where you may have the skills but somebody else has the resources or the money. Or you may know how to do certain things but to get to the, to the finish line you need people with other skills. I think that's going to accelerate create, creative um, output in, in this country. The funding is for media houses and the African Media Initiative is an organization of media owners. So the, the instruments and tools that we're looking is to enhance from, the, from that standpoint. The ideas that have been looked at have been to, to put together a pot of funds, or, you know, some sort of media, media development fund. And there are a number of large entities that have been talking about it, like uh, African Development Bank, African Capacity Building Foundation, uh, the World Bank, Bill Gates Foundation, etc. Um, and looking at what kinds of, of creative uh, mechanisms can be put together uh, to help particularly the small and to medium-sized uh, media houses. Yes, it's one of the things I noticed when I first uh, moved here from the U.S. was, for example, with hip-hop music. They're wannabe little wanes as opposed to, okay, what, what unique do you have here in Kenya that you can leverage? There are indigenous instruments back in, in the rural areas. You know, we might get some of that and have a, a rapper go along with it. So what I'm seeing is a, a lack of, there's a copycat syndrome, which is not, a, not unusual at all. I mean, even in you know, the U.S. and Europe, once the reality show phenomena started, okay, everybody's, okay, let's, we gotta get a reality show. So it's in nature. So my opinion, it's a lack of creativity and a lack of originality. Who are you? What's your identity? What do you want to say? What is your message? And then figuring out uh, an original way of, of trying to deliver that message. So that's, that's I think, is the first thing, and treasuring the culture that you have. Because an interesting phenomenon is that people are coming here for culture. And we're, like you're saying, we're, you know, the, the, many of the Africans are, don't recognize the, the value and the depth of the culture from the oldest civilization in the world. Get your own voice and your own message. Just, for example, the fact that Kenyans don't wear African clothes. They're European or they're hip-hop. So it's small stuff like that, but there's an opportunity, I think, even with, say, for the fashion industry. There's an opportunity to promote your own country's culture and designers, and we should look for opportunities to do that. It's education and training to start with. And um, if you're a musician, knowing your craft, so it's two, two parts of that craft. One is if you're a guitarist, you know, your execution of mastery of guitar or piano or whatever. But the other is, what business are you in? And understanding how that business works. Um, if you're a recording artist, then you need to understand intellectual property rights and copyright and what the, what the rules are in the country that you're in. Uh, doing your homework and uh, trying to understand the business and then looking at models that, that do work and then trying to also maintain your uh, originality within that. And the other part is an understanding of branding. First of all, I think you're on the right track for a number of reasons. One is the Africa is a young population. 70% of the people in Africa are under 30. And in some countries, it's under 20, 25 or 70%. So you have a big, uh, reservoir of potential talent and creativity.